this is a unknown ceiling fan. Uh, I believe it's Codep or Kmart, Kmart or something. I don't know. I'm over here at my aunt's house in Cal Northern California with my cousin. Hey, call. Sup? And his brother. We just came back from Hawaii yesterday. Yeah, they came from back from Hawaii. Hello. Nah. All right, this ceiling fan was actually original to the house. Um, this house like made it around the 1990s or the 80s. Ugly. Um. <laughs> As you can see, it has GE motor, uh, GE, um... I think it's kind of fancy. And it does have stencil blades. Okay. <laughs> I'm filming this, too. I'm gonna show it to the, all the fan collectors as well. Yay. Get it? Fan collectors? Fan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways, um... Tell all it's also, this video. It's also flush-mounted as, as well. Also, it flushes in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, it's kind of dusty, too. I don't know. Like, this thing hasn't been used for quite a while. Get down! I'm looking. Um, no, so yeah, no. that's so. Uh, I'll turn it on. No, no, do it, don't do if you guys don't, I don't know the brand of this fan, kind of looks like a codep or something, but if, if you guys know no, about ceiling fans, just let me know. It, Here's the light. Okay. Here's high. In the video again. Oh, Basically, this, the, I think the capacitor is broken or something, but I'm not too sure. Uh, so basically, high is a medium. And it does wobble just a little bit. It's not too bad. Hey, look, the uh, you probably may not see it, but the uh, the canopy, I can see the blade, the uh, bracket, the mounting bracket, kind of loose in there. Uh, this house needs to be a uh, uh, needs, needs probably needs to get a new fan. Medium. Hey, look! It says gold on the ceiling. On the ceiling. It says gullible on the ceiling. On the ceiling. <laughs> I said, oh, you stole my lungs. <laughs> gullible. <laughs> uh, but even though that, uh, even though the high speed wasn't that fast, it still brought out a good amount of air. I don't think a lot of people will watch this. Yeah, there's some people. No, so if, if they're fans of fans. <sighs> low. What's interesting is uh, the low, mo the low speed. It goes the other direction. You'll see once it goes. See? See, it's. It's an optical illusion. No, really, it's I going know. backwards. I'm not even touching my hand. My hand's not touching. I know. Look. It's not an optical Look at that. Wow. It's unusual. I'm not too sure what's wrong with this fan. Uh, if you guys know what's wrong with it, please let me know. And I'll show you on the other way around. Oh, here's the other one. This is gonna be a fantastic video. Huh? Here's updraft can mode. Get it? Yeah, I can get it. It's gonna be a fantastic video. Huh. Yeah. You see the wobble a little bit. You guys get it? There. Yeah, I get it. Medium. Fantastic. And high. It looks like a real wheel. Why does it look like that? Low. Now it's gonna go counterclockwise. Again. <gasps> it's going to. Go. I got a shark tooth. Really? Shark tooth. Yeah. yeah. It's an extinct Mako. Look at that. Mako See, it's, it gets weird. I don't know why it's doing that. No one knows. And how do you turn it off? Oh, it's a three speed pull chain, though. Like almost any, every fan has. So. No, Alright guys, that's all I can do for now. Uh, if you yeah, guys know what if you guys know what's wrong with the the controls of this fan, please let me know. Yeah, anyways, this anyways this is an un, unknown ceiling fan. There's no labels on top either. And give it a like. Like, rate, and subscribe. I don't think he knows how to edit. Do you know how to edit? No, I don't have a computer. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm I running out of have a computer. Well not anymore. Oh, okay. Alright, thanks very much for watching.